say goodbye to the Fear for Uber car program, the car rental program, the weekly rental, where you could rent the car, and then if you hit a certain number of rides, you got a really fat bonus, which covered your payment. That system, that program is gone. And in this video, I'm going to share with you details about why the program is over and also share with you a lot of options that you have. So if you need to get a car today, you can get a car today. And stick around. At the end of the video, I'm going to share with you what is the most important factor in determining where you should get your car. Hey, everybody. It is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy sporting the t-shirt today with the new badass Rideshare Guy logo. I'm still loving the logo. And let's jump right in. So number one, my experience with FAIR. So when I started back in 2016, I realized I wanted to be a full-time driver, and it made the most sense for me to lease a car, uh, because with the lease, I could get a lease with a company called Exchange Leasing, which uh, offered unlimited miles. And I thought that really made sense. So I got out a spreadsheet. I estimated how many miles I drive, how much that would depreciate the car. And leasing a car made so much more sense than buying my own car. So I got that, a beautiful uh, 2013 Toyota Prius, it was blue, and the three years came and went. I put over 250,000 miles on that car, just drove it into the ground. Uh, then a company uh, came and they picked it up at the end of the lease. And then what was I going to do? Well, at that point, I went with the Fair for Uber uh, car rental program. Because here again, I got unlimited miles, uh, insurance was included, and it was about $200 per week, uh, but if I drove a certain number of miles, I could get a $185 bonus, which basically meant my car would be paid for. So I did that for a couple of months, then I decided to move into like part-time driving, and that's when I bought this car, which I'm in right now. So I had great experience with the Fair for Uber car rental program. So what happened? Number two, buy by Fair. So there have been a bunch of articles written uh, in the last few days saying that FAIR is no longer offering the weekly car rental program. And what they're saying, the reason why is the insurance companies are charging them much more. The insurance companies are wising up and they're realizing that rideshare drivers are much greater risk. So they're charging much higher premiums, which makes sense because normal people don't drive, you know, 1,500, 2,000, 2,500 miles in a week. So uh, with those premiums going up, FAIR determined that the price that they would have to charge would not make sense and most drivers wouldn't uh, participate in the program, so they just ended the program. So number three, what are your options now, now that FAIR is gone? So I went to the Uber website and what did I find? FAIR is no longer listed there, so they took FAIR off the, off the vendor list. And what we see instead is uh, Hertz. Okay, you can rent a car from Hertz for two fourteen dollars a week plus taxes. Uh, get Around, all right, so that's uh, available in, in San Francisco. And then Avis. And then you can also just get use a Get Around car um, on an hourly basis. So those are the options that Uber lists, okay, on their website. Number four the rideshare guy vehicle marketplace so just below this video i've uh, i've got a link to this and in this uh, section of our website which i'm going to show you now we list 12 different options uh, that are available to you now rideshare guy uber vehicle marketplace and it's a really useful resource because as you scroll down you'll see we list 12 different options uh, for uber and lyft drivers First one here is Hire Car. So there's a review of Hire Car and also a link to get started. There's a service called Rideshare Rental. If you're in Southern California, there's something called Kinto Share. Okay, the Fair app, we're gonna have to update that because that just happened. There's a comparison of Fair versus Hire Car. You got a service called Maven Gig. Of course, Lyft has their Express Drive. Hertz, you can rent a car through Hertz. Uh, through a private fleet owner. We, sh we share with you exactly what that's like. In San Francisco and LA, you can combine Uber with Get Around. There's a service called Turo, uh, a service in LA called Lunch Mobility, a service in LA called Wave Work from Wave Car. And then we list a few that are no longer in service, so you're kept up to date. We also make a few car recommendations, okay, based on our surveys. 
So uh, a lot of just really great information here that you can get. And uh, all you need to do here is go to the rideshareguy.com forward slash Uber vehicle marketplace. And we'll put a link uh, below this video. Number five, I promised I would share with you what's the most important factor to take into account when you're uh, evaluating your car options. And the biggest factor is, are you gonna be a full-time driver or part-time driver? So in my case, I'm a full-time driver and I, and I put on a lot of miles. So in that case, I gotta really take into account depreciation. And that's why for the first three years of my career, I leased a car that had unlimited miles worked into the program. Now that I'm a part-time driver, I bought a car because I only drive on the weekends and I don't put a ton of miles on my car. And uh, this way I can put some, I can put equity into, into a car and I'll have the car once I've made all my payments. And uh, it's, it worked, it's worked out really, really well. So the key factor is are you gonna be full-time or part-time? Full-time, you should really look at the lease or the rental market. Part-time, uh, just get your own car. So what are the key takeaways? Well, there's an old saying that the only thing that's consistent is change. And here again, we've seen uh, something change, and that is the fare for Uber car rental program is, is the weekly program. The weekly uh, program where you can get the car by the week is, uh, is now gone. Fare says in some of the news articles that they're still going to offer a monthly program, although I did not see that listed on Uber, so we're going to have to wait and like, we can provide you with an update when that program becomes available. So are you a full-time driver or part-time driver? My strong recommendation is just go to our vehicle marketplace, uh, check out the different companies like Hire Car that, we, that are available, and uh, I'm sure you'll find an option that works best for you. Hey everybody, if you like the video, please give it a like. This is Jay Crater saying thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate your eyeballs on our videos. If you've not subscribed yet to our channel, subscribe. If you're a rideshare driver or any, anyone in the rideshare industry, uh, you know, subscribe. That way you'll get updated. We do two to three to four videos every single week. Our goal is to teach you, show you how to be a more efficient driver, which means making more money in less time. All right, that's what we're all about. Uh, we want drivers to prosper and uh, also get to work on your plan B. You'll go out and have a great day and be safe out there.